Welcome to the Job Car Cabin. I'm Miss Karen and today I'm going to tell a little bit about what it was like to take a 2,000 mile trip 150 years ago, just like Job Carr did, traveling along a pathway that we now call the Oregon Trail. Now, there weren't any roads, there weren't cars, there wasn't a train yet, and so Job had to travel in a covered wagon. You could make a wagon, you could buy a wagon, maybe you had a wagon like this that didn't have a cover on it that you used to take crops in from the fields. Now, how big was it? It wasn't as big as you might think. It was about four feet wide and 10 feet long. Maybe your parents can help you figure out how big that is by putting a book down on four corners, four feet by 10 feet. And then stop and think, you need to put everything you and your whole family will need for six months into there. Now, if you want to bring dishes, you probably wouldn't want to bring a nice china dish like this because if I drop it, it'll break. But something like this, tin, it won't break. Now, you have to put your food so it'll last a nice long time. They didn't have freezers back then, unless if you had a block of ice, and that was going to melt during the six months you were traveling on the trail, so you usually had to dry things. I have some dried stuff. It might not sound very tasty as it goes into the tin. Uh, this is called hardtack. Mine is pretty old and it's fallen apart, but it's flour and you water and you bake it and bake it until it's very, very hard. It might not be tasty, but if you're really hungry and you can't get a fire started, well, you could dunk that hardtack into water, or maybe you're lucky and you had a cow and you had milk and it sat in a, in a bucket in the back and it churned all day, you could dip this in butter. It might not be tasty, but you're about a thousand miles away from any stores or restaurants, so you're counting on your dried foods, your beans, your flour, and yep, you're going to be helping mom bake that each and every day.